So number 13 then from paper 2 four mark question here for exponential equation. You've got this decay equation with that little negative power there. A patient's given a dose of medicine. The concentration after a certain time t in minutes is given by this. Calculate the concentration 30 minutes after the dose just for the one mark. Because you're just going to be putting in numbers. So C, so VT, I'll just use that in a wee place to put your cup of tea there. So that's a 30. Don't need to do that, of course. Will be 11e to the negative 0 0.0053 times 30. And it's just press the button. So, pressing that button gives you 9.382, etc. So we'll just take that as 9.38, maybe. 9.38 and it was milligrams per litre for the one mark. Now in part B it says, this dose becomes ineffective when it drops to 0.66. How long would that take? It just says calculate the time. It doesn't say about minutes or hours or whatever. Right, anyway, so that just means you know the answer this time. So I'll write it the other way around. 11e to the negative 0 0.0053, I don't know what t is, but I know the answer should come to 0 0.66. So let's just get rid of the three parts. Get rid of the 11, divide, get rid of the e, inverse log, get rid of that, again it's multiplying, so divide. So e to the negative 0 0.0053t would be that divided by 11. I'll just go straight in with that one. Now inverse inverse of exponential, that will be log of natural logarithm, logarithm base e of that. And then finally t is going to be ln of 0 0.06 all divided by negative. Don't worry about dividing by a negative when you look for a time because that's the logarithm of a number that's less than one. That'll be negative. Now enter that and see what answer you get. Press the button. Five, three, Point eight three and so on. That's in minutes, so that may well do it. Probably just go to the nearest minute. 531 minutes. Unless, of course, I didn't say t. If it said find t, then that would probably be minutes, because t was the number of minutes. But if it just said find the time, you could also say, but I'll probably do just to leave that. Well, six days, there'll be eight, that's 480. So that would be eight hours, and that would leave 51 minutes. So either of them would do. They'd probably just leave it as that, though. Number 14, then. The optimization question. There you go. The part A and the part B. The dreaded part A. But it's, they're always really straightforward. You should really do them. So what does it say here? Because you've just got, this is the net of a box. If you were to break a box open flat, that's what it would look like if it didn't have a top on it. There's the base, and those four parts wrap around it. And that's what it says, first of all, it's even breaking the stages down for you. What's the area of that net? Well, the area would be made up of these five parts. Well, there's an obvious one. So you've got 3x times 2x. You've got 3x times 2x plus, now, those four parts make one big rectangle. So I'm just going to put h times whatever the sum of those lengths are, rather than h times that and h times that. Well, obviously that length there is a 3x. This part's to fold onto that, so that's a 2x and that's a 2x. And that goes back again around the front, so that's another 3x. So that's about it. It's only one mark, I suppose. So it's the sum of those parts, I'll put them down, 2x plus 3x plus 2x plus 3x. So the area is going to be 6x squared plus, and you've got 5, 10x each. Now, the second part, given that the area of that net is 7,200 centimetres squared, so it's long centimetres, show that the volume is given by this expression. Well, the volume would just be the length times the breadth times the height, but you don't want the height as an h, you want it as an x. We need to get a connection. 6x squared plus 10xh is 7,200. 
Right, rearrange that, so 7,200 minus the 6x squared. So H will be, I think I'll just leave it in one go just now because I'm going to have to substitute it into something, minus 6x squared all over 10x. And that's what I'll put in to find the volume, which should be the length, 3x, times the breadth, 2x, times the height. Maybe I'll just leave it that way. So it's times this, 7,200 minus 6x squared over 10x. Now it's just a case of tidy that up. Taking those out, we've got that'll knock out one of the x's there. And then the 6 over that will be 3 fifths. So it'll be 3 fifths of x times 7200 minus 6x squared. That's a 0.6. So that will be the 432. 432 by 0 with an x minus, and that's just going to have to be 18 upon 5 x cubed. So that was v in terms of x. Now part B is just a standard optimise it then. So if that's V, if V of X is 4,320 4, X minus 18 upon 5 X cubed, then what's the derivative? Well, that'll just be 4320 minus multiply by 3. So that'll be 54 upon 5 X squared. And it'll optimise if that derivative ever equals zero. And for that to equal zero, that means that 54 upon 5x squared would have to equal 4320. So x squared would have to be 4320 times the 5 over the 54, which comes to 400 very nicely, which means that x is going to be, I'll just go straight in with it then, 20. So that worked out nicely. So we'll need a little table here to demonstrate that that actually is the maximum. So, if that's the x, what's v dashed of x? 20. So choosing something just above and just below. In fact, you know what's going to happen. Because if this has to equal 0, it will equal 0 when x is 20. So put 20 in there, that expression will come to 0. Put anything bigger in, you'll be taking away a bigger number, it'll go negative. Put anything smaller in, it won't be enough and it'll stay positive. So you do know what the sign should be here. So you do know it looks like that, but um, how do you explain that? So we can just say we took some numbers. But actually you didn't need to pick any numbers. We could have made used simpler numbers than that, it didn't really matter. So I'm just going to say pretend you put some numbers in. I don't know if you actually need to show the results there. Because it's self-evident. Take away a bigger number, it'll go negative. Take away a smaller number, it'll stay positive. So, max volume at x is 20 centimetres.